Now here's a quick one about a husband who is rightfully so literally kicking the missus out of the house and divorcing her after discovering out of nowhere that secretly behind the scenes she's been taking pictures and probably videos of herself and putting them on OnlyFans. She is an OnlyFans model and making a lot of money off guys all over the world. Title. I caught my wife posing naked and taking pictures of herself. She started an OnlyFans without telling me and I'm honestly really pissed. Welcome to Sam Gamora 2.0. <clears throat> he says, who the F just decides to sell amateur P-O-R-N behind their spouse's back? You'd be surprised. I'm so effing mad about it. The part that's not that's the most infuriating <clears throat> is that she doesn't understand why I'm angry. She says, it's not like I'm cheating on you. She knows exactly why you're angry. She's gaslighting you. You're, t- you're talking to tons of horny men and selling them pictures of your body. How the F is that not cheating? I asked her if she'd be okay with me talking to other women online and sending them pictures of my package. And she said, and I quote, that's different. How the F is that different? I feel like I'm going insane. <clears throat> she's gaslighting you. It's not different. She's cheating. She's lying. She has no respect for you. That's what's going on here. And she's trying to find a way to make a lot more money probably and then kick you to the curb. I told her I wanted her to stop and she said, it's not up to me. I'm consulting with my attorney today and he's in the process of drafting divorce papers. Good for you. There's no other option at this point. Don't stay married to someone like this. We had our, already had our fair share of issues and we we're working on this, but this is my final straw. I am just done. So no surprise, as he said, we've had our fair share of issues. They got problems, okay, obviously. And so this is her way of saying, F you. you this is not a healthy marriage that someone's lying to you and doing all this behind their back and selling their body. That's what's going on here. That's terrible. And if worse, honestly, the insult to injury is her gaslighting him saying that if he if he would do the same thing, she's like, oh, that's different. Or he can't tell her what she can do. Bullshit. He darn right he can tell her what to do. He continues saying, uh, <clears throat> thank you everyone for the kind and support of people. I didn't expect this much activity, so thank you. I do want to clear up a few things due to seeing a lot of the same similar questions and comments. Uh, we've been in marriage counseling for months, so I'm not just throwing away the marriage because of this. Shocker that they're in marriage counseling. An even bigger shocker that some people in the comment section of Reddit suggested that he's throwing away his marriage over this. No, she threw away the marriage. She threw away the trust and the love and all that. Not him, but of course he's painted the picture as the bad guy. We've been having problems and I've been trying to work through it for a long time. Her being unfaithful and selling herself behind my back is my last straw and ultimately where I'm drawing the line. Good, you have every right, dude. Life's too short. We are also not short on money. <clears throat> so she isn't doing this for financial reasons. I make really good money now. She also makes decent money at her job. I don't know what her motivations for her W-H-O-R-I-S-H behavior, and frankly, I haven't asked. Well, I can tell you, it's a combination of attention and validation. All women love attention and validation. And there's degrees to this. And it doesn't stop when they're, you know, get married. This goes on to their old ladies, like the fucking golden girls in Florida. <clears throat> Never stops. And then there's also probably, I'm going to make a lot of money. Attention validation, but then guys are going to pay me for my looks and all that, that takes the attention validation to a whole new level. And she could do with these, she reads about these gals online, may make so much money she could then ditch him. I've given my lawyer proof of her infidelity and all the relevant information about our finances. And once he drafts it up, what I think is fair, a clean split of assets based on who owns them and who paid for them, I will present it to her. If she does not agree, we can take it to court. Yeah, something tells me she's going to bring a lot of drama here. But here's a question. I have to ask, if she's making all this money behind the scenes, if it's been going on for longer than a year, if she doesn't report that money on her income taxes, that's tax evasion. <clears throat> if this is all in the calendar year, she's going to have to report this eventually. So if she makes, he says he makes very good money, and she makes good money too, but if this additional income from her OnlyFans business means she makes more money than him, 
then that could actually entitle to him to something because she's making more, potentially. And this has been going on for years, and you would think he would examine his tax return every year and see her W-2, his W-2, and there would be probably a, I can't think of the term, I should know this, but the form from the company that pays her for OnlyFans, that should be included too. And if it's not, that's tax evasion. And she's got herself a whole bigger problem because he can, I believe, can plead the innocent spouse type of thing because he didn't know what she was doing. But anyhow, the lawyers will work that out. <clears throat> I also took the day off for work today and hired a locksmith to change the locks in my house. I purchased the house and paid off before the marriage and have changed the alarm and garage codes and I'm in the process of separating her belongings. Essentially, I'm kicking her out. Given the circumstances, I don't feel bad about this and will offer to pay for her hotel room until she gets on her feet. Oh, no, 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 no. She can pay for her hotel. She has a job. She has her OnlyFans. No problem. It's appropriate she's being in a hotel after all this. You don't have to pay for shit. But good for him kicking around. Now, I don't know how that's going to go with the, with the courts, but that's still good for him. Perhaps she can find lodging with one of the many men she's selling pictures to of her naked body, too. Question mark. So, guys, Song of More 2.0. You have to pay attention. It's unfortunate that you, ha as a man, you have to look behind your shoulder all the time to see if your wife is doing unusual things and selling pictures of herself on OnlyFans. Who the hell does this shit? Not somebody that loves their husband. Not somebody that respects them, okay? Ever. But And he made it clear. We don't need the money. Now, he didn't mention any kids. And thank the Lord. I, he, I'm sure he would, if they had kids, he'd mention it. So thank the Lord for that. That takes things to a whole new level when... The wife and mother is selling pictures of herself online, or trying to, and they have kids. Because one day, those kids are going to find out, or their kids at school are going to find out and humiliate them, and you hear stories like this all the time. So anyhow, guys, this guy does, he's handling this right, no screwing around, end of story, move on. And he'll be, he'll, be, he'll be fine. I just hope that some BS doesn't come out of nowhere that could challenge his ownership of his house, or who knows what. He, he needs to move on, and I'm willing to bet you that if things don't work out with her with OnlyFans, she'll be calling him up pretty quickly.